Hello. Hello. Hi there. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear. Yes, I hear it. I can hear you. Repeat. I can. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me, Anna? Yes, teacher. Hi, welcome ladies. Welcome to your session, uh, to your English session as usual at 8 p.m. You have Thank become you. most constant students because the other students get late or are absent. So very responsible from you. How you doing today? How you doing, Anita? How you doing? Um, I'm very tired. Tired? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand. It's, it was a, it's a Monday. It's a Monday. It's the, it's the uh, hardest day, right? I work. I work um, Sunday. You work Sunday? Yes. Did you did you also work on Saturday? Uh, no, did 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 you also? Did you also work on Saturday? Uh, no, no. Saturday is libre. Okay, Saturday is off. Off. Oh, okay. Yeah, Saturday I am off. Repeat. Saturday I am off. Off. O double F. Okay, well, welcome to my world. <laughs> welcome to my world, Miss Anita, because <laughs> I also work on weekends. I work on Saturday. Actually, my my very difficult days are Thursday. Friday, but the hottest days for me are Saturday and Sunday. I work 10 hours Saturday and I work 10 hours Sunday teaching English classes. Yeah. It's difficult, huh? It's difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> working, working on Sundays is not easy. It's no. not easy at all. Because all your friends or your family members, they are resting at home. They are off. They are watching Netflix. <laughs> they are going uh -huh. out. <laughs> and you are working. No, I work. <laughs> You're working. I have to work on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> no, means no, means I mean, you know, we have to do what we have to do, right? We have to do what we have to do. And well, right, Jenny? If, if the principal of the school tells you, Jenny, you have to work on Sunday, what would you say, Jenny? No, 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 it's, it's free. It's Sunday. a sin. It's a sin. It's a capital sin. It's <laughs> un pecado capital. Yeah. I know, I know. Well, there are there are exceptions, right? There are exceptions. Welcome, welcome. How was how was your weekend? Did you have a good time? Um, I'm glad you're back to classes. What's going on? What's going on with you, Jenny Marisol? I was uh, raising my house, um, and only that. Resting in your house. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, it's Sunday and it's the only day when you can do that. Right? <laughs> Unfortunately, you cannot do that every day. So it is totally valid for you to do that on Sundays, Jenny. I'm actually happy because. Because, you know, uh, teachers and, and all workers, all employees, you know, they finish days very tired and, and, and there should be a moment for recuperation, but really recuperation, you know? So that's good. That's good. How about you, Adelie? Can you hear me, Adelie Cortez? Are you there, Ms. Cortez? 
Are you Cortez? <laughs> Hello? Oh, good evening, teacher. Some issues with my microphone. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Okay, okay, okay. No worries. Okay, means no worries. Although we're not gonna have, you know, your participation, you know, but it is what it is, what they say. It is what it is. Um, well, ladies, um, it's it's nice to actually say hello. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little worried with your classmates because uh, they are they have been present perfect. They have been a little irregular. I don't know what's happening. What what do you think the problem is, Anita? I sorry, teacher, no escuché. No, okay. Um, I wonder about your classmates. They are not in class. It's just you and Adelie, also Jenny. But I don't know what happened with your classmates. Do you know anything? Do you know what is what could be the problem? No, I I don't know. Should I call that irresponsibility? Should that <laughs> should that fall on irresponsibility? Oh, I don't I, like I, that. I, yeah, I think, but it's the it's time the finally working and the and and the moving for the house, the traffic. It's uh the connection is and the the phone is difficult. It's in hearing. In the movie in, in the different places, but I think this case, but I, I know. I really like your comment, Jenny. Yeah. Um, but but you know what, Jenny? Yeah. You are right. But at the same time, look at you. You actually, <laughs> when you're not at home, what do you do? Um, I saw you connected on the bus. You come on the bus and you come connected at 8, 8 p.m. You get connected, even though you are commuting and the word is commuting when you say moving when when you said yeah. uh your classmates are moving you better say commuting commuting Commun what commuting you can see commuting Commut or commuting commuting, commuting. okay it is difficult but you uh, are commuting when you when you have to commute you are commuting sometimes on the public bus with your husband you're connected in the class and I go like wow but but it and my case is by different but it's the no it's a public uh, uh, the transportation it's uh it's for the um, what's me what say the uh, uh, privado it's private transportation I, exactly but, but it's it different it's the moving but in the public it's it's all, all i say um the, i think it's crowded yeah it's crowded yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh okay i understand i understand oh, okay now your comment your first comment makes more sense okay yeah i'm i'm going to give them the credit or the benefit of the doubt, let's say. Okay. <laughs> so, so you're looking after your classmates, means you're looking after your classmates. You like your group, you like your class, huh? That's good. You're a good, you're a good partner. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Arely Cortez. Oh my God. Good morning. I'm sorry. You fixed the problem. Yeah, I fix it. I think <laughs> you did it because I can hear you. Can you hear me well? Oh, okay, yes, I, I can hear you well. I haven't <laughs> seen you in ages. No, in ages <laughs> around two days. Hey! Just two days. Yes, just two. Well, well, 
excuse me, but for a 16 day period of classes, it's only 16 days classes. So two days for a teacher is an eternity. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, so but, sorry. but you're okay. Yes, I'm okay, but I am mom. <laughs> and oh, I... <laughs> you're mom first. First, yeah. first, of, first of being a student, you're a mom. Yes, and I have a lot of duties to do with my kids, with the school, with my house. I, I don't know. How many children do you have, Arely? I'm I sorry, you? I can't hear you. How, how many children do you have? Two. I have two children. Is it is it is it girl and girl and boy? Yeah, boy and girl. Boy and girl, actually. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, I also understand now why uh, you were I'm absent sorry. these last two days. <laughs> we have missed you. We have missed you. We miss Thank all you. the classmates, all the students, all the participants. Uh, we feel the absence because you know. You're an yeah. important member. You always participate. You always like to practice. You always Thank like you. to interact. And that kind of attitude is, is what we look for. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. As long as you're not sick, as long as you're okay, right? Uh, we're going to get started today with our class. But let's see. We also now have Miss Catherine Ramirez. Let me say welcome to this young lady. Welcome. How you doing, Miss Ramirez? Hi, teacher. I'm, I'm fine. Fine? <laughs> yes. Is relaxing. Every... Yeah. In my house. <laughs> You're in your house? Relaxing my house. You're relaxed yes. in your house. Okay, okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Did you did you work today? Repeat. Did you work today? Yes. You did? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me see. That's the verb for you, uh, Jenny. I just chatted your verb, commute. Okay. Okay, good, good. So what's new with you, Miss Catherine? What's new? How was your weekend? What's new? Uh, I, I, I extra foods um, con mucho trabajo. Okay, okay. Much work. Much work. Much, much. Because work is not countable. Okay, work is not countable. So you say much work. I have had much work. I have been doing much work. Okay. Uh, I have much work. Okay, really? Oh, so that's that's yeah. good money, Miss. That's good money. Um, más o menos. Uh, <laughs> More or less. More or less. Yeah. More or less. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, you ready for your class today, Miss Catherine? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. Yes. Last last week we saw a topic called simple past versus present perfect. If you remember, we had that class last week where we used to be asking questions using present perfect. And if the answer was affirmative, you had to say, yes, I have. And then additional information using the simple past. Uh -huh, because, you know, the action started in the past. So you said, yes, I have, because the action started in the past, but it continues in the present. Um, so, we're going to have a similar uh, conversation today based on um, simple past versus present perfect. So how are we going to do it? We're going to use simple past. We're going to use present perfect. We're going to interview all the classmates. We're going to absorb. We're going to obtain as much information, you know. And the main purpose is practice. Practicing is the main purpose. Um, 
before we start, well, let me say this at the end. Hopefully more students come here. So let me go ahead and uh, share with you a screen. And I want you to know that I'm gonna need you to be very analytical. And I want you to think in English as much as possible. I'm gonna share this now, okay. So there we have to actually find what the question is. If I answer appropriately, when you are asked a present perfect question, I will say, if it's affirmative, affirmative I will say yes, right? Oops, yes. I have, period, and a pause when I'm speaking. Yes, I have. And then I, and you use the, uh, what tense? What tense comes over there? Present perfect or simple past? Simple past. Correct. There you gotta use simple past. And when it's negative, Perfect. Correct. No, I haven't. And you have to confirm that negative. Okay, you give the short answer. Yeah, no, I haven't, period. And then you have to um, give the confirmation, right? Using present perfect, correct. So when it's affirmative, you use, yes, I have to, you know, answer appropriately and then simple past. So we're going to kind of play with this, okay? And I hope you ladies um, have seen your list of verbs, right? <laughs> so we can use different verbs than the basic ones that we have been using, hopefully. And if necessary, we can use a dictionary. That's not a problem. So why don't we start with Jenny, okay? Um, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. This is, this is going to be a teamwork. Everyone can guess, everyone can participate. Help me out, class. The first one is gonna be... Okay, check that out. So, yes, I have. Okay. Can you help me with the question? Uh huh. Intermediates, let's go, intermediates. Have you? Uh huh. Have you? Anyone can participate. You can help her, Katherine, Adelie. You can help her. Have you ever? Rooked. Rooked. Sorry? Rooked. Rooked. Can you spell it? B-R-O-K-D-E-D. -E -D. Rooked. No? Is that correct, ladies? Adelie, Catherine? Oh. Is it right? Or it's wrong? Hello? Ladies, ladies. Have you ever? Hi. Uh oh. You were close. The past participle is broken. Okay. Have you ever broken? Okay, help me with the compliment. Help me with the compliment class. Let's go. Have you ever broken what? Mm. 
we need bones. we need a compliment uh-huh have you ever broken bones have you ever broken bone mm, you have to be more clear have you ever broken any bone okay of your body or any part any part of your body have you ever broken any part of your body or have you broken any or have you broken any bone of your body okay that's right okay 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 i need a little more participation okay on this dynamic let's go to the next one okay check it out and this is actually a basic verb break broke broken break broke broken okay let's go with the next example Nah, this verb is easy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you make a question, please? Have you ever or have you ever uh, uh, the verb what is the verb yes what? you need to identify the verb yes what is the verb for for gay for gay forgave is the verb all right all right let's make the question remember this the beginning of the question is very important has she has she forgive no this is present <laughs> uh-huh help me help her has she forgot forgot or forgotten Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what, what did you say? Forgot. Forgot, you're confusing forget oh. with forgive. Okay, forgive, right? Forgive, please forgive me. Like the song, right? Mm. Forgave. And what is the PP verb? Forgiven. Forgiven. Is that correct? Yes, forgiven. Okay, help me with the compliment. Has she forgiven what or who? Forgiven him. Okay. Has she forgiven him? We can make it that short or we can add more information. Uh, has she forgiven? Uh, has she forgiven uh -huh. him? Um, you know, has she forgiven him? Um, no, actually, that will be it. Unless if we add, has she forgiven all his mistakes, for example, or something like that. But a uh, nice, nice, nice. You got it right. You got it right. You got it totally right. Okay. Let me go with the next one. Okay. Nice job so far. Um, let me see, Catherine, make sure you have a, make sure you have a list of verbs handy, Catherine. We're using all the verbs, okay? Okay. To have a list of verbs handy. Okay, next one is. Okay, 
Help me out. Come on, ladies. You can do it, ladies. I trust you. Use your imagination, use your creativity. I'm just giving you a piece of it. We need to complete the answer, right? In this case, you will have to, yes. Okay. But, but you gotta make the question first. You gotta so, make the question first. Let's, let's go with the questions first. Okay. We can start now. Uh, we are thinking, we are processing the <laughs> shock. <laughs> I'm sorry. We I are in shock. It. We I are in it. shock. <laughs> the hamster is the hamster is running up yes, very fast. It's true, it's true, it's true. Okay. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. You know I'm a joker. You know I'm a joker, Adelie. Okay. <laughs> Please, please, if you have a question, shoot it. Let's discuss because the objective is that we have this clear. Um, have you... Wait. Cannot no. be have because the subject... Can you identify the subject there, Miss Catherine? It. It. Okay, so you cannot you you cannot use have with it. Okay. Have it. No, it's not no. possible. It's incorrect. Ah, uh, okay. You need to change have. Change have. <laughs> what can you use? You need to use has. Yes? Yes. Remember, have with I, you, we, and they. Can you repeat that, Catherine? I have, 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 have. have. You, you use have with I, you, we, and they. they. And, and has, you use has with he, she, he, it. It, ah, remember, it is third person. Has it. Yes. Okay. Has you can it, help, ladies. Has mm -hmm. it worked? Sounds good. Has it worked? And, and here, the word, the word yet, it's very applicable, right? It's very applicable. Um, has it worked yet? I'm impatient. I'm waiting for an answer, yeah? Has it worked yet? And the answer is no, it hasn't. Okay, let's go with the confirmation. It? It is broken? No. Yeah, yeah, you can say it is broken. Okay, look. Look, ladies, let's analyze. The question is, has it, has it worked yet? Has it worked yet? Has it worked yet? Am I, am I, I might be talking about what? An electronic device that maybe is malfunctioning and somebody is, is trying to fix it. Somebody is trying to, you know, adjust it somehow. So I'm asking, I'm impatient. I'm asking, has it worked yet? So no, it hasn't. It's broken, it's damaged. All right, hey, nice job. Here we have different options. We have different options, right? Because remember that it, it can be an object, it can be an animal, it can be a thing, it can be an idea, it can be a place, etc. 
So here I could have asked, has it, has it, has it eaten yet? And I could be talking about an animal, about my kitten, about my puppy, right? Has it eaten yet? Okay. What if I say, has it arrived? Has it arrived yet? I might be asking about a bus, about a train, about a subway, about an airplane, fly, about a flight, about a flight, right, at the airport. All right, all right, excellent. All right, any questions so far? So far, so good? <laughs> So you're thinking, huh? you're thinking so much. I'm, I'm putting pressure on you. No, you did good, ladies. You did good. You're, you're great. You're great. We are overloaded. <laughs> you're overloaded of information. Yeah, overloaded. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. So you ladies, uh, saw the, let me see, where do I have that? Uh, you ladies saw the, um, how do you say? The uh, file that I sent you, right? There you notice that we have uh, different uh, verbs, different action verbs, right? Did you check it out? Yes, no, yes. maybe, yes, okay. Yes, so we have some of the verbs right there and we have some of those questions. I want you to, I want you to look at those questions and I want you to pick pick one interesting question, one question that you like, that you want to use, in a question that you manage, okay? Remember, when you see a question in present perfect, you have to check the verb. You have to check the verb and you have to uh, see if you have that information, if you have the simple past, if you have the past participle, because you will need it. You will need it in the answer, okay? So let me interview, let's interview first, let's interview Jenny, okay, Jenny, we're going to pick questions to ask you, Jenny, and I want you to tell us about your personal experiences. When we are interviewing somebody using present perfect, you have to be ready because you will get a present perfect question, but if the information is interesting, then you may get more questions, right? Like simple present, I mean, simple present questions, simple past questions. So you have to be ready, Jenny, okay? I have a question for you, okay? From the ones that I just uh, noticed on the file. Okay, have you ever, have you ever um, cried? Have you ever cried during a sad movie? Yes, I have cried, cried during a, a, a movie. Okay, I want you to ask a follow-up question, Natalie. I want you to ask a follow-up question, Catherine, a follow-up question. Here you can ask a simple past question. You can ask a simple present question. What movie did you watch? What was the name of the movie? Who were you watching the movie with? any question that you can ask related to the topic. Okay, uh, Adeline, do you have any question? Because she has cried watching a sad movie. So <laughs> that's interesting. Catherine, prepare a question. Okay, go what, ahead, Adeline. Okay. What, what, what was or what is, what? What was whatever, the name? whatever you want to say, because you can say, what is the name of the movie, right? Yeah, what is the name of the movie? Um, it, uh, the heaven, it's the heaven, no, the miracle heaven. The miracle heaven? Yeah. Who is the actor? Is for, I, I don't remember the name, this actor, but it's the... It's 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 a very very special this movie for me, but is uh, uh, the the drama for that the movie is very very interesting. Interesting, say interesting. Inter nice, yeah. nice, 
Outstanding. Good job. Catherine, do you have a question for Jenny? Okay. Okay. Uh, have you ever ridden a, a horse? Um, Catherine, this question was supposed to be related to the topic because the topic is that Jenny has cried watching okay. a sad movie. So do you have any question related to that? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, repeat, please, uh, the question. If you have any question related to uh, the fact that Jenny cried watching a sad movie. But if not, no worries. We're gonna go to the next drill, okay? The next drill. Okay, the next question. Uh, okay, now, now we're gonna choose a question from the list, okay? Adelie, choose a question from the list. In, or Catherine, choose a question from the list to ask Jenny. Go ahead. Have you ever slept for more than 12 hours? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I have. I have. Yes, I have. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Continue. I, uh, oh, I slept during a boring, uh, no, what? I, I just, uh, yes, more yes, than yes. 12 hours. More than 12 hours. 10 hours. <laughs> okay, okay. So you have slept more than 12 hours. Uh, I need more information. Like, <laughs> I, I have slept more than 12 hours one time when I was, or, or I have slept more than 12 hours uh, since I got married, for example. <laughs> no, 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 seen for in the, I, I, what say, Vigilia, Vigilia? Vigilia, that's a good one. Let me check. Ah, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Okay. <laughs> so you could say um, um, wakefulness. Wakefulness. Let me let me share this with you. Well, that's similar, but let me check. Vigil. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, vigil. It's B I G I L. Vigil. 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 When you attended vigil. a vigil. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I thought it was a hobby, miss. No. All right. <laughs> vigil. Vigil. Okay. Vigil. Okay, so you have slept more than 12 hours when you went to a vigil. So after the vigil, you slept those 12 hours. Oh. Yeah. Okay, repeat Jenny, hours, 12 hours. 12 hours. Hours. Okay, hours. nice, nice, nice. Okay, Catherine, ask a question. Have you, have you to Jenny, okay? Yeah. Otra pregunta sería. Yeah, have you uh, to okay, Jenny? Okay, to Jenny. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, have you have you ever done something dangerous? Something dangerous. Then dangerous. Yes. Have you dangerous. done something dangerous? That's a good one, Catherine. Go ahead, Jenny, on the spot. No, no I haven't. You I, haven't? I, no. Yes. Okay, you said last That's time you're, you're very cautious. You're very cautious. Yes. You avoid. <laughs> you avoid dangerous scenarios. Yes. <laughs> Any 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 follow up question, uh, Adeli or Catherine? Any follow up question related to this topic? No, no. Okay. 
no questions. Okay, thank you for your participation so much, Jenny. You did great. Okay. Okay, take your notations down. And let's go ahead and interview Adelie, okay? Let's interview Adelie this time. Let's take advantage of Adelie. <laughs> okay, choose your question. It has to be, have you, have you, okay? Let's go, Jenny. Okay, for Adelie, um, um, have you ever swam in the ocean? Yes, I have, but just in the in the seashore. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay, just in the seashore. <laughs> yeah. No. But the, the correct answer is yes, I have. Yes, I have. I swim. No. Yes, I, I swam. I swam just in the seashore. That's right. That's right. All right. I have um, I have a follow up question. Um, you have swam only in the seashore. Okay, you don't like getting beyond? No, because it's dangerous. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Could be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true, especially, especially in our oceans, right? And especially if I, I fairly short. You're fairly short? Yeah, I'm fairly short. How, so. how high are you? Do you know your height? Yeah, around 1.49. 1 meter 49. Yeah, you're shorty, miss. You're shorty. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's short, yeah. It, do you? Yes. Oh, okay, that's yeah. why, that's why. That's why oh. what? <laughs> That's why you told me last time, because I remember I yeah. asked you if you were if you were high heels. High heels, yeah. And you I said no, uh, no. You said no, no. I prefer yeah. flats. Yeah, I prefer <laughs> flats. <laughs> okay, let me go next. I go next. Okay. okay, I'm gonna ask you one. Have you ever have you ever met a famous person? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. I never. No, I never met. I never. Mm. I never meet a famous person. Just there, you. There. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> there, darling, right there. It's preferably when it's a negative answer. It's preferably for you to confirm it still using present perfect because you're not dead. You continue alive, so okay. you could you could have the opportunity, right, of having that action in the future. Okay. So you will say, "No, I haven't. I haven't met." Right, I and and yet met. it's applicable there um, because tomorrow you might meet. I don't know right? A celebrity. Okay. So you will uh, say, no, I haven't. I haven't met any famous person yet. Yet. Okay. Besides teacher Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you got an extra point right there, miss. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Do you have any related question, Catherine, or with present perfect? Okay. Um, have you ever Failed a test. Failed. Failed. That's a good one. Fail. Failed. Failed. Good question. Yes, I have. I failed te many tests when I was a child. And now you want your children to get 10 on every single <laughs> test. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens huh that's what happens no parents parents love to to get the best of their children right yes but education is transitioning now 
education is transitioning, right? And we are in that process. That's a good question. That's a good question. So I have um I have a follow-up question there. Okay. So you said that you have you have failed many tests when you were a child. What was the problem? I think that I am I not st study enough. I, I didn't the, study enough. I didn't study enough for the test, for mm -hmm. this test. Mm -hmm. But I fix it. Right, but, but you 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 took care of that of that habit, right? Yeah. Because because that was when you were a child and then you yeah. continue your following studies, right? And you yeah. studied more for your tests. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies, let's interview now. Katherine Ramirez, are you ready, Katherine, to get interviewed? <laughs> yes, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I will start, I will start. Well, actually, no, let me start with Jenny. Ladies first, Jenny, go ahead. Okay, have you ever been lost? <gasps> nice. Have you ever been lost? Oh, you made me remember something. <laughs> Go ahead, Catherine. Have you? Um, okay. Um, Do you understand the question? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. Yes, I have you them. Have. <laughs> um. Siri San Salvador. Um, okay. I'm sacando los antecedentes penales. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me make the correction. Okay, I got, okay. Lost. <laughs> Lost. And the question was, have you ever? Have you ever been lost? Have you ever been lost? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the answer, we could say, God, yes, I have. Yes, I have. You can say, I got lost. Because I was lost um, doesn't sound right. It sounds more common to say, got lost. In the answer, in the answer. The question is perfect, Jenny. Okay, the question is perfect, okay? So you say, uh, Catherine, yes, I have. I got lost when I was getting some documents. Yes. Yes, I have. I got lost when I was getting some documents. Okay. Let me chat it right here. Let me let me know if you see it, uh, Catherine. Can you can you read and repeat that? Okay. Yes, I have. I got lost when I was getting some documents. Documents. In that action, in that action, we use simple past, Catherine, because the action finished. Okay. Okay. You answer in present perfect. Yes, I have but you reply in simple past. Do you, have, do you ladies have any follow-up question for Catherine? Yes, no, maybe? Yes, I have one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Catherine Adley has a question for you. What do you do? What did you do? Is that what, what you... Yes, what did, what did you do? What did you do that, in that moment? In that moment, yes. I'm. You you called your mama. <laughs> out out. Uh, repeat please. Um, oh. What did you be? do? <laughs> what did you do? Because 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 the scenario here, Catherine, is that you got lost when you were getting the documentation, right? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Right. So yeah. so Adelie says, "What did you do?" She's curious. I am. 
I am. Um, what was the resolution? I am a student. You are studying? What did you say? Yes. Maybe you don't understand the question, Catherine. Que como tú dijiste que te, te perdiste, ¿verdad? Cuando estabas sacando tus documentos. Ah, ok, ok. okay. okay. Entonces, <laughs> Adley te hizo un follow-up yeah. question. Ella te preguntó, what did you do? Yeah. ¿Qué hiciste en ese momento? ¿Qué hiciste when you, when you got lost getting your, your documentation? Ok. I, Go ahead. I, este, I ask uh, in the persons, um, vendedores? The, the sellers. The sellers. I, I ask. Okay. Okay. And, and you found the, the building for the antecedentes? Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right, Miss. What a problem. <laughs> what a boomer, Miss. What a boomer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me finish with the last question. I think uh, Adelie is your turn, right? Present perfect for Catherine. No. You did? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I didn't. didn't. Okay. Let me see. Have you ever made a snowman? Catherine? Okay. <laughs> you know what is a snowman? It's a snow. Un hombre de nieve. Have you ever made a snowman? Oh. Muñeco? I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't made a snowman. A snowman. It's not man. Snow, the nieve, right? Snow man. Snow man. Good job, Catherine. Good job. That's how you answer negatively, Catherine. Congratulations. No, I Thank haven't. Thank you. I haven't made. I haven't made a snowman yet. You could have used yet there too, right? Because maybe, right? Maybe in the future, right? You can travel to Alaska or to, I don't know, Holland, maybe, <laughs> right? We never know. We never know. Opportunities come and go. Now you're going to interview teacher Kalev. All right, shoot me, shoot me. I know you wanted to get to this moment. Shoot me your questions, Jenny. Present perfect. All the uh, present perfect questions to me, to uh, me. Have you ever seen a ghost? A ghost? Say a ghost. A ghost? I think I have, Miss. I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, when your <laughs> children, when you, your children, I don't know, many things happen, you know, and we're not really sure. But I remember when I was like 11, 10 years old, I remember I saw the CPTO. And he was on, on the roof of uh, Champita. And um, that was very scary for me because I don't know, I was a little kid, you know. Don't ask me more questions about that. Next question. <laughs> I don't know, Catherine or Arale, it's your turn. Have you ever bought something very expensive? Oh yes, I have. <laughs> but but I have bought things only for me. <laughs> I am a little selfish. Yes. Actually, recently I I bought um a new motorcycle. Uh-huh. And I am like um like the happiest little kid with a new toy right now. 
because you know it's new so yeah it was very expensive thank you any other question related or Catherine, do you have a uh, present perfect question for me? Have you ever ridden a horse? Ridden? Have you ever ridden a horse? Yes. Uh, yes, I have. I have. I have ridden a horse um, so many times. Um, you know, I'm not from the from the capital. I'm not from San Salvador. I actually live in San Salvador now, but I was born um, in Santa Ana. So my childhood, I spent it there. I, I was raised over there in Santa Ana. And there, you know, there are many uh, animals like um, like horses and, and um, you can experience these type of things. All right, thank you for your questions, ladies. Very, very interesting. You made it very interesting. Um, well, what's gonna happen uh, right now is that I need, I was hoping to have all the students, but they are not here. And I was in the necessity of telling you to complete and to work on your platform exercises. They sent me a message today telling me that uh, we are a little behind. So I don't know if that's with you exactly. Uh, but if you are um, incomplete, you know, in that area, you can go ahead and, and please work on it, okay? You have to do an exam there. It's gonna be there only today and tomorrow. Okay, it's, it's highly important for you to complete uh, that exam. All right, ladies? Yes. All right. Okay, teacher. Now, about tomorrow, tomorrow is our final day. Did you know that? Are you aware? Tomorrow is our final day, so we will have a party tomorrow. <laughs> you like that part <laughs> you like that part <laughs> no what we're gonna have is that we're gonna have a general review okay we're going to have a general review of all our classes in just this one hour class we're gonna go through the most important points uh, so we can you know kind of cover if in, in case you have still little gaps uh, we're going to help you covering them and we're gonna have a full practice tomorrow as a as a goodbye class because i don't know if i will see you again ladies i'm not sure you know how it is okay any okay. question any no. any concern any complaint Oh. The COVID. All right, ladies, go get some, go get some, go get some uh, dinner, go get some free time, go get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow in the last class. Good night. Hey, good night. Thank good you. Night. Be care. safe. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.